Now, my Buddhist friends, you all are searching for the Buddha. I told you, in, if you look, see my previous videos, I have told you about Bhikhaini Baba. Bhikhaini Baba, in the real Vaishali, the Buddha would beg for, beg for alms and people would give him alms. So, and the village deity is Bhikhaini Baba from where you get the word Bhikshu. Bhikshu, Bhikshu is a mispronunciation of Bhikhaini, which means a beggar. Now, who is Bik Bhikhaini Baba? He is the village deity of Pidholi, which is the actual Vaishali. It's none other than the Buddha folks. Now, I have told you who Bikaini Baba is, I have told you who Dukharan Baba is. Because, see, the Buddha taught ki if you have lust, if you have desire, it will cause pain. To remove lust and you remove desire, you will remove pain. That is Dukharan in Hindi. And Dukharan Baba is prayed to in around three dozen villages. Now, there is another Baba. There is another Baba. Now, there is a story. There is a story of the Buddha is Mahapari Nirvana. When he leaves Vaishali, according to Zhang Zhang, he goes 18 kilometers northwest to the place where he returns the Lichvis. The Lichvis are the Digvai Brahmins. Well, he returns the Lichvis and uh, he creates a river by magic. Yeah. So, where he returns the Lichvis, there is a stupa, it's called Dal Singh Sarai. Dal means a group. He was followed by a group of Lichvis. Dal means a group and he was followed by a group of Lichvis. And there is a temple on the stupa with the, uh, dedicated to Dabeshwar Baba. Now, who is Dabeshwar Baba? Who is Dabeshwar Baba? Well, Dabeshwar means to pressurize, pressurize. Now, can you connect, my Buddhist friends, can you con connect that Dabeshwar to pressurize with the Buddhist Buddha story of the Mahapari Nirvana? When the Buddha goes with trailed by the Lichvis who are pressurizing him not to die, not to attain Nirvana. Folks, there is massive pressure on the Buddha not to die. And there is massive pressure from the Buddha's side. Go back, Lichavis. Go back, leave me alone, let me go on my way. So there is massive pressure on the Buddha. Don't go further, stay in Vaishali, don't die. And there is massive pressure from the Buddha's side. He makes a uh, river by magic to push them, uh, the Lichvis back. So pressure is the name of the game. That is Dabeshwar, Dabeshwar. So Dabeshwar Baba is none other than the Buddha himself. See the words on the ground in India, in Bihar, they are more descriptive than what is in your Buddhist texts. That is what I noticed in all my family. Thanks to Yoon Sang. Yoon Sang, you are lovely. Boy, I never knew I would be praising a Chinese, ancient Chinese, as I am doing just now. Yoon Sang wrote this book in a lovely manner. Folks, that now people like us, we can find. Dabeshwar Baba, Dabeshwar means pressure. There was pressure on the Buddha not to die and there was pressure from the Buddha to the Lichvis to go back. The Lichvis are actually the Digvai. Lichavi Digvai. They are the Digvai Bhumiyar Brahmans today. And uh, the uh, Brahmans also. So, basically, Dabeshwar Baba is the Buddha. Now, one thing about all these Babas, <clears throat> I have been repeated, repeatedly telling you, if you come around, come to India searching for the Buddha, the Buddha, the Buddha, you won't find him. He, because if he, his name was Buddha in India, you couldn't call him the, you couldn't call him Buddha. He was known by his deeds in uh, several villages 
according to his deeds he did in that area so where he pressurized the lichwis to go back and the lichwis pressure he is known as dabeshar nath dabeshar nath means the king of pressure the king of pressure because the buddha he was adamant he got the lichwis to go back means he won that pressurizing game he won that pressurizing game he was dabeshar nath folks nath means king king of pressure see the words are descriptive they tell the story much better than the buddhist texts and the unique thing about all these babas is the people are holding on to the name they pray to the baba but they do not know anything about the baba because the history has been wiped out from india but the baba is there people pray to him they will never leave him what do you call it this is silent buddhism slowly by slowly when buddhists accept my research when they go to the real actual spots and people will realize who their dabeshwar baba is who their dukharan baba is who their bhikhaini baba is ah what you call it buddhism will come back to india So I hope you found this video educative. If you did so, please don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe to my page or channel, Buddha Exhumed. Thank you.